just did fight call. I did great. I also want you to know that this is my handbag. Again, I love this bag so much, but I would never steal it. Oh, speak of the devil, Nicole. Come say hello. Oh, please. Oh, please. Look at her life. Oh, Look how gorgeous she is. I'm dressed as a cheetah girl today. Who do you play? I play Chrissy Starr. Oh, hi, I play Chrissy Starr. And who's Chrissy Starr? Chrissy Starr is David Starr's little sister, also Aunt Val's niece. Yeah. 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 I'm, I, you know, same. I don't have any nieces in real life. I'm very, very young. We are basically the same age. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Now. We're headed back to the dressing room area where we might find some actors in their natural habitat. Come with me. Maybe this is very close up. You're welcome. Anybody need a copier? In-house. Now, look at us. We're back where we've started. Gary, may I interview you? Thank goodness we've caught him. Please tell everybody who you play. I Wait, play, first of all, please tell everybody your name. My name's Gary Milner, and I play Bob Lord, who's the nicest man you'd ever have the pleasure to meet. Being a bit sarcastic there, aren't I? He's yes, all right. He's not all right. He's misunderstood. He's mm. <laughs> and mm. And you know what? But you have to come see the show to really to appreciate, appreciate the, it, and especially his costumes and mannerisms. That's all I'm saying. That's all the we're comedy saying. here. Gold. And the moustache. And the, and the moustache. Yeah. He's actually American. Can you believe his accent? Incredible. OMG. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie, you're important. Bye. Get him, get you him. have to say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> no, Ian, come over here. Hi. Okay. I'll sit next to Elliot and he can answer all the important Please uh, tell everybody who you are. Well, huh, come on. Ahead, You're extremely important. Are you kidding? <laughs> My name's Pooch. should talk to you. No, talk to the camera. Hi. She makes it so difficult. My name's Elliot. My name's Elliot Davis and, and I wrote the script for Becoming Nancy, which is probably what you want to hear. Wrote the book, script, to Becoming Nancy, all the amazing lines that we get to say, all the wonderful jokes. Yeah. Come, come from in here, down here, to here, height, go on there, yeah. then they go in there, and they go out there, and then the audience go. <laughs> so for all of you scientists out there, now you happens. understand. <laughs> now. No, not important. Ian? Yes. Will you please tell the public? Yes. Who you play? I play, I'm in the ensemble, and I cover Jason and Squirrel. And, and when you and see the show, you'll know exactly who that is. And yes. let me just say, the most phenomenal, Phenomenal dancer. Oh, thank it's you. It's a beautiful thing. No joke here. No joke. It's just pure talent. Thanks, Ellie. Extremely talented. Well, thank you. In all ways, triple threat ways. Well, thank like you. Like myself. Like <laughs> The boys' room, I have to just see if everybody's dressed because it would be, uh, it, it would be not politically correct for me to go in there if they were not dressed. Boys, is everyone dressed? Oh, well, I was going to come in here with the, with our camera crew and I'll say hi. <laughs> I knew they would do it. Come on in. Wow. Got, look at this crew. This is the men's room. Do I feel like it's wrong that I'm in here? Maybe. All of us. But. Uh, <laughs> oh. You know, they're all, we are all, look at this. Look at this crew, both sides. Everybody has their station. Everybody has their costume plot. Wow, these two are in a family photo <laughs> for us already. Well, wow. Uh, Can I show you? You must, Hi. yeah. Hi. Seth, so, this is a tradition apparently. So after every show, um, we, uh, we, we put some liquid in this and uh, we, have, we have another show immediately afterwards. Wow, yeah. He start, wow, I mean, one, when it comes to theater traditions, what better than to take a tube shot of apple juice, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. You know? <laughs> Those are actually really cool. Nice. 
We're, we're the, the DJ section. Yeah. We're the DJ we section. This is the, the DJ good. section. We take requests. They've got really good music that comes out of here. Jesse McCarthy. We throw the party. <laughs> yeah. It is truly a party. I want to show you the table of wigs because as an aspiring drag queen, I would wear all of them if I could. I would. Kind of. Look. Is this one mine? I don't know. But look at the, this is mine. Um, we've been through a lot. Uh, and she's a really good wig, okay? She's a really good wig. She's what I put on for when I play ABBA. And it's, you, it's like you wouldn't even know the difference of the real one versus me, so. I don't like to over-exaggerate who I am. But here we are. You wanna meet Lindsay? Come on over. Hi. This is Lindsay. <laughs> As you can tell, she's extremely loud. And she's responsible Hi. for the wigs. Good evening, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is your half hour call. This half is real life, you guys. Monday, this is what real life is. It's Tuesday, September 17th. Tuesday, preview number 10. Preview number 10. Ryan is conducting this evening, and we have a full yeah. company. Full company. Please make okay. sure you check the daily changes sheet from And I always check the daily changes. Changes that we work this afternoon in rehearsals. If you have questions, check in. That's, I, I never, oh. Please do so now. Half hour. Half hour. Look to half your hour. left, everybody. Ah. Uh, uh, right, but who are you? We sing a duet in the show. I don't want to say too much, but I want to say that it's a hit. Yeah. So if we were to put it out on the charts, pretty sure it got probably, to number one. Probably. At least. Yeah. Sorry about it. <laughs> Not sorry. She gets her tattoo covered. I also have to cover my tattoos. But thanks, Lizzie. And I play Kate Bush in the show, who is actually who this is. Look at this inspiration. What an icon. What an icon, what an idol. I sort of have costumes that resemble this in the show, but again, and I sort of try and do my eye. When you play pop star in a show, it has to be right. No, excuse me. And I never thought that I'd play a pop star in a show. But the fact that I get to is me living my dream. So I want to thank you for following me today around this crazy maze. I hope you come see the show. You really need to come see the show because it's a once in a lifetime experience for a show like this to start out in a beautiful theater like the Alliance Theater in Atlanta, which I've fallen in love with. So. Come see us before 